Hello, Lou Wallace Mustangs. Welcome to another virtual art lesson. So yesterday, I showed you the Ansel Adams Gallery, and we talked about photography a little bit, and I think you should still continue um, looking at Ansel Adams stuff. I mean, granted, I know you looked at it yesterday, um, but look at it some more. I mean, there's really cool things. As a photographer, he, he did so, so much beautiful work. And I guess back in those days, you had to develop the film after you took all your pictures. So you couldn't immediately see what your picture was going to look like after you took the shot. So I think that's the big advantage of nowadays is that everything's digital and it happens immediately, which I could tell you in my college days when I was in a photography class, I had a film camera and I had to go take photos. And after I took my photos, I had to go into the dark room and develop my film. And nowadays you don't even do that anymore. Everything's digital. So everything's so much quicker now. So look at the AnselAdams.com website. And I think, you know, look at some of his photography. And that's just, he's, he's a well-known photographer. I mean, you will see his photos in doctor's offices and on posters everywhere, probably all your life. Um, so yesterday I said to take some photos of, go find that photo to go take. and. I did some too, so I wanted to show you by sharing my screen, um, you know, what, you know, photos I took. And I, I just want to talk a little bit about um, what we can do with those photos after we take them. So let's see what happens when we just play around a little bit. I mean, at least at the very least, have fun with it, you know, um, have fun with your photographs. I mean, you know, even if, you know, you, you make your photograph and, you know, you don't care for it that much, at least play around with it, you know. So, obviously, like I was talking about before, I've taken, video, you know, photos of my daughter, just casual stuff that I take every day. Sometimes my, my daughter gets my phone and she takes photos of random things like, you know, some of these off shots. But these two bottom photos I took outside. And here's like a flower. So I think it's really cool to take pictures of things close up. I love taking pictures of things close up because you can get really creative with what you're trying to show. And even though this is just a simple flower, I got up really close to it to kind of show the details. And I think it's pretty fun. I mean, now the beautiful thing about digital stuff is that I can zoom in and show you guys this stuff or I can crop or change this photograph all I want. So the good news is, as you do this stuff, you can go back into your device, whether it's a, a iPhone or a, you know, Android, you could edit your images. So I'm just going to show you some things that you could do. Um, you know, you could change it from color to black and white, of course, you know, and I think that's cool. Like Ansel Adams, he used a lot of black and white. Um, of course, back then they didn't have a lot of color photography. I don't think there was any at all, but you can kind of really go fun, have fun and just have just tweak around with this thing a little bit. Um, this is kind of like a presetting of filters. You know, filters is kind of like something that you can put over your photograph to give it some sort of, you know, look. So I'm gonna pick this one just for fun. All right. And then I'm gonna go to, so if you go to this other thing, this little clock, I'll show you my pointer, this little clock down here, it's like a little settings thing. Um, we could, add more stuff to this. So exposure, brilliance, highlights, shadows, contrast. So you could do more stuff. Like you could still change your photo around, even though if it looks really wonky. Don't worry about it. Have fun with it. I, I have fun manipulating photos like this too. So even though I'm changing the settings of my photograph, now like you couldn't really do this that easily with film photography. You know, it was a little bit more difficult to change things around so but with digital technology you can have a whole lot of fun playing around with settings on your photo so i mean who knows i mean just for fun you know change your photo around you might make some really funky looking photograph that you know and i'm just really just playing around with you know the photograph so try taking a photograph and i don't know um changing it up or changing how it looks or 
really just have fun taking photos and then seeing what you can turn it into later on. Just with the camera and, you know, the app on your phone to, you know, manipulate or change, you know, your photographs. So, you know, I think it's pretty fun to go ahead and have fun with that. You know, I mean, have a good time playing around with your photographs or um, just kind of find ways to change things around, you know. Um, anyway, sorry, I, I was having some difficulty. Oh my goodness, I just want to stop sharing, guys. I just want to stop sharing. Okay, here we go. Thanks. Sorry, I got caught up with my phone. Have fun taking photographs and changing or manipulating them a little bit. I mean, I think I think it's a fun thing to try. Or even with people, take pictures of people and change how they look or whatever. So have fun with that. Try that out today. And then tomorrow, I'll have some more things you can do with the camera. Have a good day, Lou Wallace Mustang. See you.